But right now we have Nick Ragone from Ascension. Thanks for joining us no, on the show. It's good to be back. I love, I love doing this once or twice a year. Oh, it's so great to have you. So you partner with Ascension, it partners with the Chess Club for Your Move Chess. Yep, Can you tell so us a little bit about that program? Second year of the program, we had our second annual fundraiser on May 31st, and uh, we raised over $110,000, which doubled last year's total, our first year. And we're now, with the Chess Club, able to expand the program into more underserved schools and also begin to uh, embed the program into curricula, which you think is exciting. And I think the goal for this coming year is to expand it outside of St. Louis into some additional markets. That's fabulous. You said over $100,000 yeah. was raised to that fundraiser. What happened to that fundraiser? Uh, so we had some, so this year we, um, thanks to the generosity of, of Fabiano and Eric Hansen and uh, Danny Wren from Chess.com, we did some Blitz Simuls there and we actually auctioned off the opportunity for people to play blitz against some of the greatest gms in the world uh, including myself and i got destroyed i actually got checkmated twice they forgot to mate me once but uh, play? i played fabi and he um he, w he did not take it easy on me but uh uh it was it was really extraordinary i mean we had um we had uh people au auctioning off the opportunity to play blitz and simul with some of the greatest gms on the planet and then uh at the end we actually had fabi take on Three GMs and a national man, uh, national master in a in a simul blitz, and um, he he didn't fare as well as it's a tough competition, but it was a lot of fun, and I think the people enjoyed watching these GMs play blitz, which is pretty incredible. That's a cool concept. The blitz simul is basically really crazy. That doesn't happen too often. So basically, the the player has to play like four or five. The grandmaster has to play four or five people at once, and. Um, win all the games within five minutes. Yeah, I mean, there were five-minute simuls, which are tough, and, and the first two rounds it was against kind of average people, and, and they, they had no problem dispatching us, but then in the, in the last round, Fabi had to play a bunch of other GMs, and world-class GMs, including Eric and others, and, and that was tough. But for the average person that was there, seeing it for the first time, the, uh, the amount of skill that goes into playing a blitz simul, I think, was eye-opening. And through that simul, we raised an additional $15,000 just by people auctioning off the right to play against some of these players and it was a nice little wrinkle and, and next year we hope to do some more of that and and build upon our total that's amazing you know so many listeners here on the show ask how can i get involved the show is free the youtube channel videos are for free and so they could actually buy a ticket to this fundraiser yeah right and then see some of these things in in person how yeah. much did the fundraiser ticket cost the tickets themselves for individuals were only 25 dollars. so wow. we wanted to you know we obviously had a lot of corporate partners and that that's where i'm pretty good at raising money from our corporate partners so we had those donations and we raised so much that we figured we could drop the price for the average person that wanted to come in and see some of the best GMs on the planet, watch the Blitz Simuls or participate. And so next year, I think we'll do the same thing. We really want to, we had over 300 people at the event and it's just, it's taken on life of its own. I think it's now become um, something that people look forward to. And like I said, our goal is to expand into a few other markets. We're looking at Nashville, Tennessee and Birmingham, Alabama and a few others. And uh, it's some of the markets where Ascension's at. And, uh, and I could tell you, our associates also donated a lot to the program, starting with our CEO on down. And, um, I think our the Ascension community loves the intersection of chess and learning. We think that it's something that we could take to other markets. That's so huge. Wow. And speaking of looking forward to, I know that you're a chess player yourself, and of course you must look forward to this I elite do, tournament, so. the Singfield Cup. Um, what do you think is going to happen this year? Well, Who's you know, win? I was I was fixated on yesterday's game between MVL and Magnus. I was. Um, I, I was amazed to see MVL win that game on black, especially when he's down a little bit early on. And um, I'm a big Fabiano fan. He's been so generous to our program, so I'm rooting for him. I know he's in second, and I think he has a good game going on today. Uh, but, you know, I'm curious to see how Magnus rebounds. That was a um, – I don't know how many times he's lost on white after having a – I don't know if a winning position, but certainly he had something of an advantage. He was winning at some point, yeah, yes, but it was very point. complicated. And MVL played, it seemed like, to, to my untrained eye, perfect chess from there on out. And so I'm curious to see how Magnus rebounds. And I'm really looking forward to the Blitz next week and see how Gary does, Kasparov, coming out of retirement and um, you know going into the deep end of the pool with some of the, blessed, the best Blitz players on the planet. So if somebody wants to donate to this program rather than um, just coming out to the fundraiser because that's a whole year sure. away, how else can they do it? Just go to ascension.org uh, backslash your move chess and we, we fundraise year round or they could just go to the chess club website or they could Google me and send me an email, Nick Ragone, however they want. But we, uh, we were really delighted at the number of, not only that we double the size of the donations, but we doubled the number of people who contributed in, in fundraising. That's what we want to do, expand the fundraising base. And exactly. No amount too small, but especially no amount too big, yeah, right? Yeah, exactly. And I will throw a, a special thanks, Ada Maurice, who helped us two years ago kick off this program. And this year, Danny Wrench, 
did a great job of uh, broadcasting the simul, which is not easy to do to try to make very complicated positions understandable for the layperson. Oh yes, and I hear Danny's going to be in town. We're actually going to be playing a, a blitz match out on the uh, oh the really chess at the, uh, the patio chess at the World Chess Hall of Fame. So some exercise. Are you playing in my home? Yeah, I will be oh, playing. Oh, you got to kick his butt. All right, I'll play try. Play Scandi again yes. on black. He doesn't know how to play against. Okay, that. Team Scandi. My Team brother. Scandi, yeah. My brother is not going to talk to me anymore no, no, after no. I say that on TV. No, no. Um, but, oh, well, I got to come out and watch that. I mean, you got to take Danny down. Well, thank you so much for all your support no, and for your bad. passion for chess. It's great to have people behind the chess club and um, our partners also showing how much they love the game and uh, we are going to be back with more from round five of the Singfield Cup after just a few minutes. Thanks Nick.